So um, we're going to start cleaning the winch. So Roland, what, what tools do we need? What equipment uh, for this process? Uh, for cleaning fluids, uh, you can either use white spirit, diesel or any engine degreaser that you can get from a car uh, accessory shop. Don't use petrol or gasoline as uh, it can destroy the plastics. Okay. Uh, you also need a brush, obviously for cleaning all the grease off and the, the gears. What else have we got here for afterwards? Uh, we've got uh, the, the greasing, the Lumar grease. And so this all comes oil. as a kit? I can buy this? You can get it as a kit or they're sold individually. Okay, so if you run out of anything yeah. you can you can go and buy it. And it's worth having spare springs and pulls at hand, okay. uh, especially if you lose a spring. So it's probably better to make sure you've got all these things before uh, you start taking your winch apart Definitely, and cleaning yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be leaving it in bits well, it, and, yeah. and uh, tomorrow is obviously another day. Um, so to start with, I usually dive in and, and clean the more trickier parts while I've got the enthusiasm to do so. <laughs> and uh, they tend to be um, the, the gears with uh, all the teeth and that gets quite dirty inside there. So. Um, I'd be putting the white spirit in the bucket itself or in a yeah, separate it's, pot? it's worth putting all the parts in the bucket and soak them in the, in the white spirit and that okay. obviously softens the grease ready for using the brush and getting all the, the hard grease out of the uh, gears. Okay. What but about a toothbrush and if you don't have a brush? Toothbrushes are actually excellent. Is it? Uh, yeah. They're so nice save your teeth. toothbrushes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm just sort of flicking in here. Um, yeah, one thing to note from my experience obviously is that when you're brushing it, you do it deep in the bucket because the little bits of grease are dark and they will stain on the teak. Note that we've put some plastic down, we've got paper, tissue paper to hand, so uh, we're preserving the boat as well as servicing the winch. So I'm, I'm brushing away inside the um, gear here and it, would it, is it necessary to take this out every time? It's not necessary, but as long as you've done the checks to make sure that the bearings are, uh, are good. So I make sure that fit. it's, it's uh, nice and smooth in there, nothing doubt, worn. Just change them. Uh, and you'll have good working winch then. All right, super. So I go through each one of these. It actually takes quite a bit of time to, to clean out all the dirt and it's worth doing it properly, particularly if you're only doing it once a year. On race boats, of course, we do it sometimes before and after every use. So uh, we get quite quick at this. And of course, if you, the more often you do it, uh, the less grime that you'll be cleaning away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we recommend so. cleaning a, a winch at least once a year. Once a year? As you say, racing people do it more often because uh, they like to have a, the feel of the winch turning around quicker. Well, it's, it's more the, we use the oils rather than yeah. the, the greases. So uh, we have to. All right, so these are, I would run these through with a rag. To get, get through yeah, the again, soak them in uh, white spirit and then just clean them up with a, with a rag to so get the surplus off. Occasionally these things pop apart, but they are you can put them back together. That's that right, correct? they push out and you can push them back in again if you want to take them out individually. Oh, they just push out with hands? Yeah, no, you, you can just me? push out from the inside outside. Oh, okay. And then you just push it back in again. But there's really no reason to do that? No reason, no. Okay, just in case one comes out, it's good to know. All right, so yeah. Got. That's easy to clean, that part. Pretty easy. Always leave it to last. And then inside the drum, how important is it that I give all this a clean as well? Definitely, it's a good to give this a clean. Uh, especially on alloy drums, it's worth looking for wear inside this drum bearing here. Because it's okay. anodized here, it does take a lot of load. And if it's not greased regularly, uh, you will get uh, anodizing breaking off here. Okay. So let's just check the condition of the drum. Should I pop these off as well? You can do. Uh, this, this is the... Uh, Stripper ring. Yep. Just make sure that's free moving. If it's not, take it apart and replace the stripper ring. What, why is it called a stripper ring? Obviously, it's a ring, but uh, well, the rope actually from the feeder arm feeds round here, yep. locks into the self-tailing crowns, yep. and it strips off the rope in this position oh, here. Ah, I see. There we go. Explanation. Thanks for that. So, how long will this take me? Do you think? This sort of side winch, around about 40 minutes. Oh, ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, nice obviously, obviously if I get on with it. <laughs> yeah. 